Okay guys, it's been actually 25 minutes instead of 20, because I looked at the uh, croutons at, after 20 minutes and I didn't think it was quite ready yet. So, I'm gonna take them out of the oven. I'm gonna put you guys down here. Yeah. I should get another one just in case. Oh yes. Oh yeah, 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 that's better. Ah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now let me show you what the croutons look like. Look at them. They're lightly toasted. They're, they're big, brown. Lightly browned, I should say, but they are hard. And let me show you something else, too, while we're at it. Those croutons that I had called um, bird food. Let me show you a comparison here. Now, what looks better? This or this? Now, yeah, I know this may not may not look like a it's not a like whole cube, but that's kind of the point. But let me show you what it looks what it tastes. This is what it looks like, and let me give this a shot. It's still a little hot though. Cheers. It's good. There's a little softness, but it will get a little harder once it cools down a little bit. Now compare it to this. Yes, it's crunchy. But, but I would rather have one of those in my salad than one of these. So, let me show it to you one more time. These are my homemade croutons. All right, guys, that wraps up one another edition of Jeremy's Kitchen. I hope this has helped you and will help you make your own croutons so you don't have to buy them at the store. That's it. Have a great day. Bon appetit.